From, you know, I'm out here. I'm in California, back in Southern California. Kevin Frazier with us from NFL Network. Network. NFL we're Network. in an NFL environment here. If we were in Hollywood, I would say, you know, entertainment. But you know what? There's so much Hollywood going through. I mean, all the stars walking through here That's right true. now. Cuba Gooding Jr. That. just left. Ryan Reynolds was I'll just give you here. that. Earlier today, Liam's Hem, Liam Hemsworth had the ladies going crazy. I mean, Jenny McCarthy was here. So stars are around. I know, I know. So, lots of stars here. And so this is the perfect convergence because you have to understand, Super Bowl has now become not just a game, but a selling place yes. to push products and also to push projects. So it's very important for these stars to come here now. Are you pushing anything today? No, I'm pushing being here with you. What's going on? But no, today I'm here just to talk with you. Oh, man, I'm so excited. What's going on? All right, let me tell you the same question I'm going to ask you that I asked Troy Aikman. So okay, you're the sure. same thing as Troy Aikman. I said, Troy, what kind of dad are you? Are you the kind of dad that sits in the stands and, and really gets into it, gets on the coach, gets a little loud? Or are you the kind of dad that sits there and just kind of lets him play? He goes, you know, I really don't get involved that way. I just want to see my kids play. I'm not going to embarrass them. So I just kind of sit back and watch. I am the kind of dad who is 100% like I'm the guy who will yell a little bit from the stands because I, I'm a coach's kid. My dad was a, oh, yeah. a college basketball and an NBA coach, but I'm also the dad who just I just want to be down there and like hug them and jump up and down like during their games, especially. But you my don't jump one. on the referee, do you? Never. I never. T- I, that's my big thing. If they yell at the referee or they even look You're at the on referee, him. and I had to get on my older one because he was like he didn't call a foul, and I was like, you know what, you need to come sit down with me. Because I'm not going to have that. He has no, the referee has nothing to do with this game right now. You just go out there and play and enjoy the game. You're not like the the Toyota commercial where the guy's walking off the day in the parking lot with his son and they went undefeated and he looks at the trophy and it says participation. <laughs> and he takes his pin out over it and he puts 14 and 0 and he goes, here you go, son. <laughs> I will tell you this. We it's funny you say it because we had a long conversation about partic- about the participation trophies because my oldest one plays on a travel team where they play much more competitive teams and stuff like that. And he w- and when they win with those, I'm like, great. When he gets the participation trophy, now he's kinda like I didn't really do we what You're we counting every this? point, aren't you? I, I was mean, like, what did we do to get this? And I'm like that's not the, you. You guys worked hard and earned that other one, and you, you this this one. Well, you get it because you sign up. When you sign up, you get tell it. Your, tell me your best Tom Cruise story. Let me tell you this about Tom Cruise. So Tom Cruise, he has this weird ability to remember everyone's names. So when you see Tom, Tom's like, "Hey, what's going on?" Or, "Hey, Kev, how are you doing?" But when he was pushing the first Mission Impossible, he did a big tour of Europe. And he was all over Europe. And our correspondent at the time, Jan Carl, went with her mom. And her mom was there waiting. They were in Berlin. It was very hot. And, um, and there were, you know, once you get in that kind of press area, you can't move. So her mom had been standing with her for like an hour, hour and a half. Here comes Tom. And as Tom walks up, her mom passes out. Wow. Tom runs down two spots and catches her. It was like the weird and held her. Wow. And then she came to and was okay. But it was so cool that he did that. It goes by so fast talking to you. Thanks for coming by. I always appreciate your time. As you know, I always love seeing you. And any time or anything you ask for, Roman, you're my man. I will always come and see you. Kevin Frazier, you. Entertainment Tonight.